The, the other area that I'm so pleased about at World Vision is the, the growing emphasis that we've put on advocacy work. And, and the way I describe our advocacy work, our, our first expertise has been lo working in local communities. And so we got into advocacy because we felt responsible to not only do the grassroots level work, but how are we dealing with the powers that be, with the institutions and the policies that whether it's intentional or unintentional, keep people poor. We've been focusing, for example, on a no child for sale, issues around child labor, sexual exploitation, uh, and making that an issue. It's a, it's a matter of justice. It's a matter of human rights. And World Vision has a responsibility to do that, not just because it's expected, but because it's the right thing to do. For example, with the Child and Maternal Health Initiative at the moment, it's, uh, we're, we're hearing a commitment of, say, roughly a billion dollars. And I, I think our argument is this is one of the most practical, proven um, aid investments that, that Canada can make. Just for pennies, we can save children's lives. Dave was always supportive of advocacy. Dave understood the value the value of it and, and it's hard often to measure the impact. And advocacy is not something you do on your own, you do in collaboration with many others. It makes me feel proud that he mm -hmm. could have that influence on other cultures and other countries and governments. He is also clear that we as an organization of SID, we are about the fullness of life for every child, we better deliver it. When something's not right, Dave just speaks boldly, clearly about it, and he wants to get he wants to get action. He wants to get in there and get it done. It's unforgettable. You will say until we totally eradicate this sort of a situation, I will not rest.